All right, here we go. Here we go. We are live. What's going on, everybody? Uh, happy Friday, April's Fool Day. How we doing, everybody? Uh, Elliot here from Movie Files, and we are here live, live on this Friday, talking about all the new releases, movies, shows, and everything in between coming to theaters, coming to Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, you name it. We're going to have a discussion. I, I love doing these discussions, having a good time with you all, talking about all the, the new stuff coming out for the month because it's, it's a stack month. This is a lot of stuff to look forward to this month, and I'm excited to be here with you all breaking it all down. So again, let me know for all those who are watching live, if we're sounding good, if we're looking good, if everything's looking good on your end, sounding good on your end, and we'll get this thing started. But before we do so, let me say what's up to everyone. Let's see if we get some... Um, some people in and, and get the chit chatting and having a good time on this Friday. Again, we've been doing this, man, movie TV breakdowns for since the beginning of the show. And uh, I just, this is what the second or third stream that we've done. Again, I have so much fun interacting with the community, talking about all the new releases and uh, so excited to be here with you all. So let me just make some quick adjustments here and we'll get the potty started in the meanwhile let me know for those that are watching live what's uh how's your day been how's the week been it's the end of the week we got the weekend coming up here uh super excited to um get the weather better i tell you what out here in st louis the weather has been kicking my ass my allergies have been ridiculous um but I'm just waiting for some consistency in the weather because when the weather is up and down, my allergies are just whew, all over the place. But uh, let me know what you all got going this weekend. I plan on seeing um, we got Sonic tomorrow morning, which we'll talk about in this breakdown because that is a new release for the month. Uh, we got some some other stuff I'll be diving into. Just got a, <coughs> a screener from uh, Netflix for a show I'm excited about. Who we'll be talking about as well. So, yeah, be a fun weekend. But let me know what you all got going this weekend. Of course, we got... Um, Morbius. Uh, I see Amanda in the chat. What's going on, Amanda? Uh, we, we got Morbius out. Uh, what else we got out this weekend? A um, couple of stuff that we we're talking about. So let me know if there's some new movies or shows you all will be checking out this weekend and what you're getting into. But uh, yeah, Amanda, how we doing? So excited for something too. Yeah, we'll be talking about that here in a little bit. And uh, yeah, like I said, Morbius, I, I saw your thoughts on it. And I'm really, uh, I'm going to check out your review if not tonight over the weekend and kind of get your full thoughts on the living vampire. What's, what's going on, Rims? How we doing? How are we doing? Good to see you today. Hope you're having a great Sunday or Sunday. I'm way, it's the allergies. So I blame the allergies. Nah, hope you're having a great Friday. Hope you're having a great day overall and getting ready for the weekend. Good to see you. Uh, Bluetooth, are you going to watch? I <clears throat> I need to put that in the schedule. That was something that I had circled on my calendar. Uh, if you all don't know, I'm a big uh big apple tv plus fan i always try to watch uh, all their new shows or at least give the first few episodes a watch but i haven't came around to it yet i haven't heard any uh i haven't heard much about it and i think is is it all available at once or is it like a weekly series let me know uh bluetooth in the, in the comments but i heard it's from what i've heard from the little bit i've heard i heard it's a really great show it looked good from the trailer so um rims oh man same here <sighs> telling you rims like seriously like <laughs> scratching my eye my nose is already running uh that's why i got the lights a little bit dimmer because i have like a little bit of a mind ray but hey we here we ain't here complaining we're doing we're doing well and we're here to have a good time um yeah man uh, mobius yeah 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 <laughs> but uh we're gonna wait till a couple more people get in the chat in the meantime again just let me know How's the week going, man? How has the week been serving you? The end of the month, did you hit your numbers at work? Did you, um, you know, turn in your monthly assignments at work or at school, whatever the case may be? And what new movie, what new show are you excited for for the month of April? Let me know before we dive into this monthly breakdown and uh, preview of all the new releases. Me, I'm, I'm excited for this month, not only from a movie perspective, but there's a lot of great shows. Um, making their return this month some new shows i'm excited for but some shows that i'm really excited to come back and, and dive into this month um let me change let me know again if you are watching live again i appreciate you how is that music is it is it overshadowing me is it a good good level um this song ain't really ain't giving me the vibes let's see this is my go-to. I always play this one when I'm on the uh, the stream labs. But let me know if you all can hear me okay and if the audio <clears throat> from the background noise uh, isn't too distracting. Let's, uh, here, let's turn it down a little bit. But um, 
All right. Well, like I said, we got about seven people watching live, and we'll let everyone kind of come in and um, you know share their thoughts. But again, this is our movie TV roundup of the month in regards to what's new coming to theaters, what's hidden the Netflix of the world, the HBOs, the Disney's, or whatnot. And that's what we're going to break down today and talk about in this live stream. And again, let me know in the comments, everyone watching live, and especially those watching on the replay, what new movie, what new show are you most excited for? What are you really looking forward to for the new month of April? Let's have a good discussion about it in the live chat as well as in the comments so let me go ahead and uh get things started and we'll start off with some movies here but let me address the chat right quick um let's see here suspicion of apple yeah rims i didn't i didn't know that that didn't really interest me i saw the trailer that correct me if I'm wrong runs that, that's the one with um uma thurman right is that the one with uma thurman and it's like a like a spy espionage conspiracy theory show and like her son gets kidnapped and she hires people to like look for him i might be way off <laughs> in that synopsis but i think that's the one uh let me know um i thought it was off i thought it was over by the way but it didn't look that good but let me know rims is it something to take some time and check out it's weekly it's a great reviews about it okay cool cool, cool. i have to um look into it because again i'm an apple tv plus fan and i um i like what they have to offer i hear your thoughts man it's good yeah, like I said, if I can, um, if I can find some time. And by the way, how you doing, KW? If I can find some time, I'd love to <clears throat> see what's all about. Hey, I'm I'm catching a cold. It's been 20 degrees. Woo! Uh, and today, look, I'm telling you, Dan, out here is the same. I'm out here in Missouri. So today's Friday. Tuesday it was like 70 degrees. Wednesday it was like 30 degrees. Thursday it was nice, and now it's cold again. So like I'm right there with. You. I don't know if I'm catching a cold. I think it's just my allergies. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm right there with you. Um just finished last kingdom okay was that any good is that that viking show not viking so i'm thinking of something else let me know what last kingdom is about i might be thinking about something completely different uh march was a crazy month hopefully april's yeah hopefully april's bad i'm so i'm hope everything's going well for you dan i had a pretty good month uh uh overall but yeah i hope everything goes well for you dan i'm, I'm uh, sending you all good vibes for a fantastic april audio is nice okay thank you rims i appreciate you couldn't do it without you couldn't do it without you uh all right so let's get into i think i want to then i'm gonna get into that here actually you know what before we talk about the new stuff let's talk about the old stuff but like an old by a day <laughs> let's talk about what came out in march let me know what movie new movie of course did you was your number one what was your favorite movie that you saw last month of march what was your favorite show that you saw for the month of march and then we'll dive into the new releases and i'll just go ahead and answer my own question in regards to what was my favorite movie or show that i watched for last month for the first time and i'm just going to go ahead and put it out there I, i'm going to have a review for this film so i won't get too deep into the, the minutia but um yeah this movie here as um as we just someone just brought up in the comments uh regarding they wanted to see it i think it was then yeah <clears throat> i think i want to see everything everywhere all at once i am here to tell you again i'm gonna have a full review on this either this weekend or maybe monday i'll just say if you because i know it's a limited release it's gonna have a wider release next friday if everything everywhere all at once is playing in your theater definitely go see the film Again, I'm going to have, I already shot my review. I'm going to have it coming out either this weekend or maybe Monday. But I, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. This Michelle, y'all, I've always been a fan of hers. But she is awesome. Everyone's awesome in the movie. I'll just say that. This movie gives you everything. I'm really excited to share my review with you all, hopefully, in the next coming days. But, yeah, that was my favorite uh, movie that I saw, new movie that I saw last month. And I'm not including the Batman because I saw Batman in uh, February, the end of February. So I, I don't count it as a new release that I saw in March, even though I saw it twice. But my favorite new movie that I saw last month, which was on – when did I see this movie? It was on Tuesday, whatever that was. Everything, everywhere, all at once can't recommend it enough that was my favorite new movie for the month and as far as like shows what my favorite show was last month i caught up with severance if you all aren't watching severance on apple tv plus you are missing out on a gym it is a fantastic mystery thriller uh comedy in there it is so fantastic so that was one of my favorite shows that i watched and then the return of uh atlanta has been so great so far uh and also winning times if you guys are basketball fans out there especially lakers fans it's been a really good show so again just to recap 
everything everywhere all at once was my favorite movie of the month that i saw for the first time last month and then uh severance and winning time and atlanta were some of my favorite shows that i got the chance to watch uh you know last month so those are some some really good ones so let me see you guys' comments before we get into the new stuff here uh amanda which by the way guys amanda is uh, an incredible person she is on our live streams talking about mcu stuff she was on here talking about batman she's just a big fan of amanda so check her out uh candace cinema her uh, her youtube channel is fantastic so she says the batman and moon knight for sure was her number one awesome um rim said i enjoyed the adam project i enjoyed it too i wasn't um what did i give like a three three and a half so i really enjoyed the the heart of the film i thought the um thing that was lacking for me was that uh, d uh deep fake or that d8 whatever they did i think it was a deep fake it looked terrible minor thing but the biggest thing that just didn't work i thought that the science fiction aspect this wasn't all that fleshed out but the the heart of the film the the father <clears throat> son relationship mom and son relationship all that stuff was great but yeah and the batman yeah the batman like i can't wait we might actually i don't know let me know for those that are watching live in the replay i used i do i still do watch alongs but i mostly do it for like tv show finales i might do a watch along for the batman for april 19th on hbo max we might just do that i've seen it twice in the theaters but i'm really excited to revisit it uh and let me know if you guys would be interested in a watch along um Courtney, how we doing? I just finished uh, uh, season 4.1 of Ozark. Really excited for part. Oh, we'll be, yeah, we'll be talking about that here in this breakdown. <clears throat> I need to see Bel Air. I don't have um, Peacock, I think is what it's on. I don't have Peacock, but all my homies, uh, you know, Brandon, um, E-Man, uh, Lamont, all, you know, and a lot of other great content creators cover that show, and I hear it's pretty good. I just haven't had the chance to check it out. <clears throat> okay i'll keep that in mind again if we uh I'm, again i used to do if you all have been a part of the community for a while over the 2020 i did a watch along every week <laughs> uh for movies and like I, said, I still do them now but it's mostly for tv shows but we might do a watch along for the batman and we got to scratch out like three hours of our day because we know it's a pretty long movie uh let's see here hey e, glad caught up yeah me too me too jenny i'm so glad i caught up love that show really excited to break down the finale and uh you know get into all the big reveals they have for us next week but yeah i'm so glad i caught up i appreciate the recommendation there so let's get into the new stuff so let's start off with theaters uh we got some movies coming out in theaters some big movies if you ask me coming out in theaters um that i'm really excited for and again as i'm going over this stuff let me know in the comments which movies uh shows or what have you that you all are most excited for so let's start out with what's coming out next week well before we go to next week uh this is for you amanda you know coming out today it's in theaters now morbius uh i did a full review on the movie i even took a little bit of a moment to talk about the post credit scenes uh towards the end of the video so yeah you can check out my thoughts on morbius uh yeah morbius cool 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 uh but again i know some people enjoy i know amanda is she's still in chat she had a good time with it check out her review i'm gonna be watching her review a little bit later but you know we spoke in the dm she said she you know she enjoyed it for what it was and just a little bit of a sneak peek of my preview which or my review and again you can watch on the channel i enjoyed when the film focused on the duality of michael and the monster that he became to be in morbius uh i enjoyed some of the horror elements and some of the suspense and some of the vampire stuff but then unfortunately everything else just didn't work as the film went on it just got worse it progressively got worse it started to lose focus it contradicted itself the character look i said i was gonna do a quick thing <laughs> i'm like on a rant now but i'm gonna wrap it up with it's just the, the contradiction of the character michael morbius is such a like uninteresting character to me as far as the betrayal that they gave us no disrespect to jared leto but he just didn't have much to work with i did enjoy matt smith i thought he had fun in the role but even his character without giving to it it's like wait where'd that come from the switch there that, that seems very zero to 100 uh and it, yeah it's just yeah either way check out my <laughs> review to give my full thoughts but for those hey listen my whether i'm you know positively speaking about it negatively talking about it just check it out if you really want to see morbius take the time go check it out you might love this film so don't let anyone discourage you from something you're excited for i'll just say that so if you are excited for it definitely check it out and when then uh check out my review and leave your thoughts in the comments of that video but let's move on to the following week which is april 8th next friday starting off with the new michael bay action film ambulance we got my man yaya a duel between the second uh jake gyllenhaal um isa gonzalez this is um 
I'm hearing some good things. I'm hearing some good things about this film. Uh, for those that have seen it, I think it premiered uh, um, overseas, I want to say about a week and a half ago. And word around town is uh, Michael Bay is doing his thing. This is if you're a Michael Bay fan, this is giving you all the Bayisms, the, the action, the explosions, the slow motions. Uh, but I hear it's actually a good like a, like a good film like as far as like a narrative and character development and uh, which are not his strongest suits uh strong suits as to say but i'm hearing that this is good and this is um a film that i'm i'm looking forward to i love a good action film like and that's the thing I, I i still appreciate about michael bay we have moved on from that that era of like certain action genre films with the certain beats and whatnot and he's still that 90s guy to me and every now and then you need a, a goofy crazy action film which i hear this is that but i also hear like i said it's a pretty legit film from what i'm hearing from people that have seen it but i'm excited for it i think i'm going to be seeing it um tuesday if i'm not mistaken i'll have to check my email whenever the fifth is i'm, I'm seeing it on the fifth uh, and i think i get to see it in the imax so uh yeah let me know if you all are excited for the new michael bay film uh that looks to be action crazy uh with a really good apparently a good story and a good narrative uh, with these uh amazing actors let me know if you all are excited for that in the comments and uh if you guys are buying your tickets to go see emily and it's directed by mr michael bay but we got another film coming out that same day that same friday as you can see on the little banner there and that is sonic the hedgehog sonic 2 which i mean let's be honest man sonic uh and i love the the shout out to the video game fans out there look when, when sonic was announced 2018 into 2019 we all know the debacle of the design of the character but shout out to the director shout out to the vfx team you know sometimes social media can be very toxic very you just just absurdity you can find on there but this was the the one time where the internet had some validity right and it was the first time that i can think of that the hollywood higher ups were like you know what yeah this looks pretty trash <laughs> let's go ahead and push the film back a little bit redesign the character you know and i think when they re redesign the character it probably motivated them to maybe you know liven up the script you know maybe add some more to it because honestly i really enjoyed that first sonic film which like i said came out um uh, 2020 uh and that was like the last like big film we got before obviously all the films shut down so i enjoyed it i'll be honest i've only seen it the one time in theaters but i really enjoyed myself you know seeing it in theaters and i'm, I'm looking forward to the, this new one uh i believe i'm seeing it tomorrow morning if i'm not mistaken uh you know i'm not the as far as my my fandom and lore i played the games when i was younger but i'm not like a super deep uh into the lore of you know knowing all the the deep dives of the emerald city and and the whole backstory of knuckles and and tales and all that but i had a good time with the with the game but the thing i appreciate about the first film was i think it opened itself up to anyone and everyone to enjoy it. even if you don't play the games it was still like a fun family uh, adventure and i had a good time with it and based on the trailers it looks pretty good so i'm i'm excited to check it out tomorrow morning <clears throat> i think the embargo has already been up and i've heard some pretty good things about the film um from people that are really big fans of the ip uh i hear that it's good it's a lot of fun some cool action you know we got knuckles versus sonic in this one which uh you know will be fun so i'm uh looking forward to checking this out tomorrow morning which is sonic 2 sonic the hedgehog 2 uh which will be coming to theaters next week so out of those two films which one are you most excited for out of those two films which ones have you maybe already purchased your tickets for uh let's talk about that in the comments before we move to the next week so let me read some of these comments here before we move on um let me scroll up here let's see let's see okay i've been yeah that was been on my calendar i just have a time time just gotta find more time i finally caught hey what's going on travis appreciate you uh stopping by showing some love which by the way we got 16 people in the chat uh 20 minutes in i appreciate you all if you can do me a favor you see that thumbs up button which by the way youtube like added a new anime i think you can only see it on your phone i don't know if it does it on the computer but when you hit the thumbs up there's like a cool little like celebration so if you want to see something cool if you're watching this on your phone or if you're watching the computer let me know if it does this too but it's like a little animated so hey go test it out hit that thumbs up button do me a favor in doing so uh let's continue the conversation in the comments for those who are watching live and of course if you uh didn't mind if you have an instagram or twitter or what have you share this video let's get some more uh people in here that you know that love movies and shows and let's have a conversation going so again i appreciate you all uh and let's get back into it let me get into these comments here <clears throat> you need to get into snowfall yeah man i hear it's, it's a great show i need to definitely uh, check it out one of these days can't wait to see ah man I, every, every time i see that movie i just get a big smile on my face i'm really excited to get my um 
my review out for you all here uh like i said if not sunday for sure monday like it's, it's shot it's in the can i just got to find time to sit down and uh, edit it or yeah i gotta edit it and then you know hopefully put it out this weekend tyree and rain what's going on man sign to you excited for that one okay like i said i'm, I'm checking that out tomorrow uh and hopefully i'm gonna enjoy myself uh if <laughs> <laughs> shout out to severance uh listen if you all have apple tv plus uh watch severance please it's fantastic i can't wait to see knuckles fold the little <laughs> hey you just elbow don't play those games the black superman <laughs> Man, i'm excited to see uh that battle between the two uh, on the big screen tomorrow morning uh let's see let's see let me get back to it let me get back to it all right, we got the okay. I'm looking forward to it, Dan. I'm looking forward to it. Just regular on PC. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, we talked about those two films. Let's move on to the next week, which is April 15th. And coming out on the 15th, we got a pretty magical film by the name of Fantastic Beats. Uh, Fantastic Beats. <laughs> Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, which is uh, a franchise which has seen better days, let's be honest. Uh, you know, the Harry Potter films were obviously a phenomenon. The books are a phenomenon. We know what this lore and the mythology holds, but this film has uh, been seeing some kind of you know this is the trajectory of the franchise right it's just kind of going down now i have personally i can't speak for number two which was the crimes of i don't know i don't know i'm i'm not a big pothead um potterhead i guess you say <laughs> i and i guess this might you can take my uh harry potter card i've only seen two harry potter films uh i have been to universal which is amazing uh even someone that hasn't like deep into the lore i really enjoyed myself and the butterbeer was fly, a fire uh, but yeah e either here or there i didn't see the second fantastic beast but speaking of the first one i enjoyed it for what it was again not being the biggest potter head and knowing all the lore i enjoyed it as a film but i heard i've heard some mixed things about the second one but i've heard some good things about this third one here um from you know the the fans that really appreciate this ip that i hear that it gets back to what it's known for which is the magic which is the characters which is all the fun stuff that people want from these films so I, i'm hearing good things um but i'm also you know this this film comes with its own baggage uh and i always like to try to separate the art from the artist type situation we already know what happened with johnny depp being replaced and i mean if you're replaced by anyone matt mickelson is a great replacement so uh i've heard that he is you know doing a good job in his role but then ah, this guy this guy here man 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 i mean listen i always want the best for everyone um in regards so it seems like something's going on with him uh as far as like uh personally uh sounds like there's some some mental issues if i'm being honest with you i, I wish him well uh, if you all do not know uh i'm, I'm a big dc fan i'm a, a big you know batman superman wonder woman in the flash and it's just really uh and again putting all the side as far as like movies i really do hope that uh mr ezra miller can can figure some stuff out and get some help because the man is going through it if you all don't know i don't want to dive into the you know this is a tmz by any means but he's been he's had a rough week uh or to say the people around him has had a rough week from you know snatching a mic out of someone's hand uh, uh karaoke to getting locked up in jail people he was staying with uh, uh uh getting him out of jail and those same people that bailed him out of jail he threatened to kill them and take their identifications and social security cards and give them to it's, it's it's a lot so even with me being a big flash fan a dc fan uh i i put all that to the side i hope this young man can get some help i hope he has some people on his corner that can make him uh get back on track because he is a talented individual putting the mental stuff aside he's a really great actor if you ask me um and i, I really hope him the best but uh this film like i said i know it has his has his um baggage it has nothing to do with the filmmakers and the writers and the directors and the other talented people but i hope people do go out hopefully go see it and uh hope it's good for the fans because again i'm not a big harry potter fan myself uh, uh, I got to sit down one of these days and watch them all and really kind of see the magic that you all love about this franchise. But I hope it does well. Uh, I really do because I, I like when uh, supernatural, magical uh, films are in the, uh, the theaters because it's just a good time. It's a great way to escape from all the terrible stuff in real life. So let me know in the comments if you are excited for the third film of the uh, Fantastic Beak the fantastic beast franchise with the secrets of dumbledore uh with this uh great cast of uh, of talented actors here so let me know in the comments guys so moving on from a magical film 
to uh, a lot of films coming out on April 22nd. Uh, starting off with The Bad Guys, the new animated film. Haven't seen too much about it. Haven't heard too much about it. That's why I don't have any uh, photos or anything about it. But uh, let me know for all those fans of animation or you know parents out there if you all are excited for The Bad Guys coming out on April 22nd. But this film here made my top 10 most anticipated films of 2022. And that is The Northman. The Northman, directed by Robert Eggers, if you all do not know, uh, the director of The Witch. Um, he also has done, uh, you know, one of my personal favorites uh, in the last uh, couple years in The Lighthouse. And he is just, he's great. He's a fantastic. I know not all his films work for everyone, but you can't you can't knock the, uh, the direction, the creativity, um, the way he sets the atmosphere, the way he builds tension, the way he builds out his worlds and his characters. I think Robert Eggers is one of the best in Hollywood. And you got Vikings. You got Alexander Skarsgård looking like a beast. You got, you know, my man Ethan Hawke, which I, you know, I don't want to give too much away but from the trailers. There's some vengeance going on for Ethan Hawke's character. Uh, you know, again, look at Alexander's looking amazing. We got Anya Taylor-Joy. Uh, we got this interesting individual. It just looks epic. It just looks badass, and I'm here for it. Uh, to round out the cast, like I said, you already saw Alexander Skarsgård, who's going to be the leading character in the film. Uh, we got Ethan Hawke. You have Anya Taylor-Joy. You have Nicole Kidman. You have Willem Dafoe. Um, and there might be another big actor that's slipping my mind, but I'm here for it. I will be seeing this film sometime in the coming week, I believe, or so. I'm, again, if you see my most anticipated movies of this year, this was number four or five i'm really looking forward to it because based on robert eggers previous work he's one of those directors where if i see he's doing a new movie i'm i'm, I'm there don't even have to know a synopsis don't even know how, who's in it i just know he comes to bring it uh so i'm really looking forward to the northman uh coming out on the 22nd and then rounding out that day another film again it's a busy busy day we got this film coming out <laughs> the unbearable weight massive talent starring the one the only nicholas cage you have uh pedro pascal and also as you can see on the poster there miss tiffany haddish now i mean the film speaks for itself uh if you haven't seen the trailer but it's essentially nicholas cage is playing nicholas cage uh pedro pascal is a huge <coughs> excuse me huge fan of his work and he's also um you know he invites him to his like his hangout he invites him to his, his house and come to find out that pedro pascal character is like this infamous drug lord and like this super like he's on a top 10 most wanted list so nicholas cage has to like he gets a tip from the fbi to like try to take down this drug lord uh but it's not you know nicholas cage is an actor it's nicholas cage trying to do all this stuff obviously he's acting but uh that is a very interesting premise seems like they had a lot of fun making this film uh i love nick cage man i just love that he embraces the wackiness that he's been you know known of for his career I think sometimes people forget that he's an Oscar winning actor. He's like a legit fantastic actor too. So I, I, I'm a big fan of his work and I'm really, <clears throat> really looking forward to seeing this film and seeing all the absurdity and all the craziness this film has to offer. Had to get a sip of water there again, these goddamn allergies. But yeah, let me know guys out of all the three films coming out on April 22nd from the bad guys to the Northmen to the unbearable weight of massive talent let me know which film uh, has you most excited to see and which one will you be seeing on april 22nd let me know in the comments so again just to rehash recap before we move on to streaming all the new stuff that's hitting theaters kind of the bigger releases morbius came out today we got uh the new michael bay film sonic 2's coming out we got the new fantastic beast and then on um the 22nd of the month rounding out with the bad guys the northmen and the new nick cage film so again let me know in the comments if i miss anything that really catches your eye let me know which you're most excited for but out of all those films which ones will you be seeing this month and you are excited to check out let me know in the chat and on the replay uh as far as my anticipation if i were to rank these films number one the northmen if i were to do my top three films northmen um ambulance and sonic are probably my my top three that i'm really looking forward to checking out this month but let me know your rankings and again let me know what other movies or, or uh big films coming out this month that you're most excited to see for the month of april let me know in the comments before we move on to the netflix let me catch up here <clears throat> to the chat and see what we're all excited for um 
Let's see. I'm going to watch The Secrets. I'm not going to. Okay. Well, I hope it's good. How you doing, by the way? Starlight. Let me put my glasses on. I'm here squinting and trying to read these comments here. Um, Harry Potter films are better. Yeah, that's what I've heard from all the, the, the big fans of the franchise. I've seen all the Harry Potter films. Uh, the one, the best sagas of all time. Yeah, again, I know. I'm, I'm behind, Tyreen. I got to catch up one of these days, man. Uh, I can't I'll be myself. <laughs> I like the first one. Again, I don't know if this is because I'm not the biggest, like, I don't know all the lore and the mythology. If I just kind of took it for what it was. Uh, but I enjoyed the first one. But I heard the second one wasn't all that great. Controversy from Giant Depth, Sanctus. Yeah, I, I, I think that definitely hurt the film, which I'm just a side note. I'm just curious on how uh amber heard's um her stuff is going to impact if at all uh aquaman coming out next year um very curious i didn't know ezra miller was in this movie yeah yeah he's in he's been in all, in all of them right if i'm not mistaken let me know in the chat guys uh ezra miller has been in all three uh, i know he was in the first one this is the first one i saw uh i don't know if he's in the second one but based on the poster he's on the third one too which it would make sense why they're probably not pushing him on the posters and pushing him on the marketing because all the stuff he has going on right now but yeah mr miller is in the new one he's a big isn't he like a big character of that franchise the fantastic i can't remember his name for the first one but ah uh, what was his name he trained with the the evil guy grindelwald or whatever again i don't know I, i'm saying, saying these words i don't even know because i'm not only even a big fan of the franchise don't feel bad i've seen only okay thank you thank you thank you I, i'm glad i'm not the only one the northman never oh yeah star uh strictly starlight it is uh check out the trailer it looks badass i am here for it and andrew what's going on i believe it is a24 because yeah robert eckers all he all his films are a24 um but yeah what's going on uh looking forward to this yeah if you're talking about um northman yeah i can't wait yeah, the cast is incredible. Um, Northman, Northman. Yeah, that seems like the the general consensus is, and like myself, I can't wait to see the Northman coming out later this month. So we talked about all the big stuff coming to theaters, but what about the stuff coming out at our in the comfort of our own homes? Let's move on to what's coming out to Netflix, which is coming out today, The Bubble. Uh, which I thought was a joke, if I'm being honest with you. When I first saw the trailer, I'm like, oh, this is April 1st, uh, April Fool's, all these stars in this film. Uh, that's ha -ha, very funny, Netflix classic. But uh, no, <laughs> I'm here to let you all know that this is indeed a film. Now, I haven't seen the film, but I know some people that have seen it. And I, I clicked on it just to be safe. So I literally went on Netflix like, this is really a movie clicked on it and it is it's a, it's a movie it is an actual film with actual actors with an actual plot uh and it's like two hours so the trailer didn't sell me i i wasn't intrigued by it um but it's a film it is a film and it's out today and again this is a great cast so we got uh karen gilligan we have uh leslie mann uh david the i think is his name from x files we got pedro pascal yet again and is that michael keegan key yeah, i think that's michael keegan key there so yeah i mean a good cast but <clears throat> i haven't heard the best of things about it but let me know if you all excited about it if you're gonna watch it this weekend let's talk about it but this um this next one here i'm looking forward to and that is the return of russian doll season two it has been a minute since russian doll has come out this was i want to say 2018 or maybe late 2019 but it's been a while it's been more than three years i'll say that um uh, natasha leone it is a to give you guys a quick synopsis from what i remember because again it's been a minute since i watched this show but i remember really enjoying it it's um her character is like this uh groundhog's day situation where she's celebrating her birthday and she like dies and she comes back and she dies over and she and, and again it's been so long i just remember really enjoying it i thought it was a good like sci-fi show it was good comedy some good drama some good character arcs i don't remember how it ended so i'm gonna have to like revisit it uh because i actually got before i went live i got the email from netflix they sent me over the second season so i don't have to refresh myself but i do remember distinctly really enjoying it i actually reviewed it on a channel i'm gonna have to maybe go back and watch my own review <laughs> uh but i remember really enjoying it i love her as an actress i think she's great um and i really remember liking this show a lot so i'm gonna have to again watch my my uh review have to maybe watch like a youtube trailer or something for the first season really kind of refresh myself but i'm looking forward to season two which will be coming out this month april 20th let me know in the chat guys if you guys have heard of uh, russian doll and if so if you watched the first season and if, if you watched the first season if you're second if you're excited for season number two let me know in the comments um give me a quick second my dog is wilding out i'm gonna be right back guys but again let me know in the comments if you're excited for a russian doll and i'll be right back
All right, we are back. So again, let me uh, let me catch up to the chat here and see if we got some Russian Doll fans in the chat here. Um, oh, and also too, from what I know about Russian Doll season two, it's going to be taking place like four years after season two uh, or season one, and it's going to be like uh, uh, a similar concept. But I think they're diving into like time travel, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, let me know and let me catch up here. But where was, yeah, I haven't heard good things about it. Uh, Andrew, season one. Yep, I remember really enjoying the first one. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to the second one here. But let's move on to the big one. And this one here. Oh, boy. All good things must come to the end. And I'm talking about Ozark, the final episodes, April 29th, season four, part two. Marty Berg. We got, you know, Ruth. We got, you know, the whole drug cartel situation with Omar Navarro and his cousin, his nephew. Oh, man, I love this show, guys. I am so excited. If, you, if you're not already watching the show, you're missing out on one of the best shows on Netflix. And one of the best shows on TV, period, if you ask me. Man, Ozark is, is one of those shows. I know a lot of people compare it to Breaking Bad, which, is, you know, it has some similarities. But I think as the show has went on, as the seasons went on, it's kind of built its own lane. Jason Bateman is uh, incredible, talented individual. He he directs some of these episodes. Uh, he's obviously the star of the show. He has become one of my favorite actors based on this show, and one of my favorite directors based on this show. Uh, his relationship with his family, especially Wendy, uh, Laura. Oh my gosh, her Laura Henney is incredible. Um, the how the kids are involved is a great narrative, and that and they have gotten better because at first I'm like these kids are just so goddamn annoying. Uh, but oh, speaking of annoying. Um, the uh, uh was it jonah oh he was pissing me off last season and uh ruth man i don't want to give anything away because I, I hope you guys are watching the show but if you're not you're missing out on something great but she has seen some stuff i'll just say that and she is she is i don't know if you all saw the trailer but she is out for revenge and i am here for her because i love her so much uh julia is such a great actress she's won awards from the show deservingly so because she is just incredible uh, again, guys, if you're not watching Ozark, you're missing one of the best shows on TV, period. Uh, and we're wrapping up the final season, the final episodes at the end of this month, which I am uh, bittersweet. I can't wait to see how they're going to end it. But at the same time, I don't want it to end. But I love when a show has a plan. It has, you know, it knew where it wanted to start, how it wanted to end. So I always appreciate when a show can do that. It doesn't just like prolong, you know, a show and, and, and over welcomes its stay. So, oh, man, I'm here for it. Um, never saw... My stop what you're doing and watch Ozark now you don't have to stop what you're doing but if you get around to it I highly recommend Ozark uh Andrew knows what's up uh absolutely love Ozark never is what oh okay what was oh you're talking about Russian doll I'm sorry so you have seen okay good 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 uh never watched Breaking oh well now you just blew my mind I, <laughs> definitely watch Breaking Bad it's one of the greatest shows of all time uh but yes uh, I, I'm glad that you love Ozark it's a fantastic show Monty Burke I can't wait to see what happens to the Burke family uh it's gonna be sad I'm calling it I think Marty might bite the bullet I'm just gonna say it I just gonna say it I think his wife might be the one that's gonna give him the bullet if I'm being honest Wendy has become something different you talk about Breaking Bad that's, that has been a switch but out of all the stuff that we just talked about with Ozark Russian Doll this new Netflix film that was kind of like the biggest things there's of course a bazillion things coming out on Netflix but those were like the big things that kind of caught my eye so let me know in the chat and the replay what are you most excited for movie wise tv wise coming to netflix but let's move on to another streaming platform amazon man which is um you know i put amazon in that same boat with like uh, apple tv man they don't have like a ton of stuff coming out every single week or every single month but when they do drop a new show or, or uh, a new movie it's it's worth checking into and we're going to start off with this one here um which we talk about a cast april 15th we got an interesting one coming out by the name of the Out the Outer Range, ladies and gentlemen, which is a series that when I saw the trailer, first and foremost, I mean, let's let, let me Josh Brolin. I mean, the guy is an incredible actor, incredible performer. Um, you know, this cast is absolutely. Let me pull up the list here, and I'm gonna read off this cast. Let me pull it up. Give me a quick second. All right, there we go. So, of course, like I mentioned, Josh Brolin. You got Lily T uh, Taylor, Tom Pelfrey, which I just talked about, Ozark. Uh, ben, you know, he was great. Uh, Imogen Poots, Lewis uh, Pullman. I mean, this cast is ridiculous. 
oh my goodness i mean i'm i'm all here for it and just for you all that do not know just to give you a quick little breakdown on what to expect with the show we have a family coping with the disappearance of their daughter-in-law uh and they make uh and there's just like this whole rivalry between their farm and another farm but their tensions are built based on you know they got all this kind of intertwined with each other these two uh, buddy head families with their daughter-in-law missing but while all that's going on there's a mysterious black void that appears on their farm so got a little bit of family drama a little bit of you know tension amongst different farms and different um you know people around the area you know planting their seeds planting their uh foundation but then as you can see from the poster there's a little bit of a sci-fi mystery element to it as you can see from the poster there is a black void that appears on their land so yes please <laughs> great cast check uh interesting concept just from a family drama standpoint check and then you throw in some sci-fi oh yeah i'm all here for it uh coming to amazon is out of range april 15th i uh i i was fortunate enough to get the uh the i think the entire season if i'm not mistaken amazon sent it out this week i just gotta again time i just gotta find time to sit down and break it down but i believe it's gonna be a weekly series i think it's i want to say seven episodes um and i believe they're gonna be premiering each episode like two episodes a week if i'm not mistaken but yeah man i'm here for it <laughs> i am here for it just this cast alone i don't care if it was aliens or anything involved i'm just here for this cast but then you throw in some supernatural uh or extraterrestrial type of stuff i'm gonna be watching that bad boy so let me know in the comments if you all looking forward to outer range and if this was on your radar or if this is your first time hearing about it let me know if you're excited to check it out so before that was like the really biggest thing i saw from um amazon this month so let me know if there's anything else that you guys are excited for uh with uh amazon so let me catch up with the chat um uh, mr anderson what's going on miss anderson good evening happy spring happy spring to you andrew wendy's always got my nerve wendy bug mighty bug any taste uh for halo so i watched the first two episodes i did a review on them i enjoyed it for what it was worth um and unfortunately, uh, I don't know if it, it didn't sell me enough to get Paramount, if that means anything. So I don't think I'll be revisit. I, I don't think I'll be watching it every week, but I might go back and watch the entire thing. I, I enjoyed the first two episodes. They just didn't really like it didn't make me want to stop everything and just watch what's going on. And, and it didn't make me want to even subscribe to uh, Paramount Plus. Uh, so but, you know, take that as you will. But again, I reviewed the first two episodes on the channel. You can check it out so what's going on hey elliot Got hey what's going on so glad you're able to join us oh thank you thank you thank you thank you um but yeah like i said we talked about um this outer range so and i'm really excited for it let me know if you all are as well so we we talked movies in the theater we talked netflix we just got done talking about some amazon so let's transition and talk about another streaming platform one of my favorites and that is apple tv plus which always comes with the bangers and coming out on um april 15th we got a new show with the talk about cast we got this new show with roar uh it is an an, an anthology eight episode series uh with as you can see on the screen talented individuals like a nicole kitman um you know we got uh allison brie <clears throat> we got um you know cynthia revo and just a, a, a bevy of other talented actors that'll be making their appearance on this show um that i'm uh, Issa ray uh, being another one so this uh betty gilman i mean this cast is just great so uh from what i've seen from the trailer again based on the on the synopsis you have eight different stories from a perspective of, a, of of the women of the show it's dark it has comedic elements it has um you know fables and it has like you know touching on gender roles and identity and stuff like that so yeah man As, again this just goes to show you these incredible talented individuals are finding their way on streaming and they want to tell these stories and i love it and and shout out to apple man providing these uh great people to have a platform to you know have their express their their talents so I'm, I'm i i'm i'm looking forward to checking this out i don't know if it's like hour long 30 minute long if it's like variation of different uh lengths of the episode but i'm gonna have to give it a watch and um see what it's all about but let me know if you all are excited in the chat about roar coming to apple tv plus on april 15th um so let's move on to another one that i'm really really looking forward to and that is shining girls as you can see starring elizabeth uh, moss who is just a talent within herself 
is based on a novel um and basically we have a journalist who is um who's had some she survived a brutal attack and she is uh, uh has these dreams and she has this consistent issue with like overlapsing what's real and what's fake and there's like this killer that goes throughout like multiple generations and this killer is out killing people again but this killer was like back in the 80s and in the 70s and 80s and how is this killer still alive so it seems like there is not only a good drama being told in the story but a good you know time travel thriller you know mystery going on too so Look, regardless of her uh, her beliefs outside of, uh, you know, movie making, TV show making, Elizabeth Moss is one of the best actresses working in Hollywood. And this is just, this is right up her alley. She, she always seems to, someone need to check on Elizabeth Moss. <laughs> she always seems to be doing these like deep, like psychological shows and movies, whether it is Handmaid's Tale, which is just, oh my goodness, it's so hard to watch that show, but a fantastic show, no least, no less. Um, you know, Invisible Man, uh, obviously this project, she always seems to tackle these type of projects. So, hey, shout out to her because she does a great job of doing so. But uh, Shining Girls is, uh, like I said, coming out later this month, April 29th, a new drama with uh, a nice little, um, seems like a science fiction angle to it with this like kind of time travel serial killer going through generations generations finding these women and killing them so let me know in the comments if you all are excited for that and as far as apple tv goes that was kind of like the biggest one that kind of caught my eye so again um roar with this talented uh cast of uh beautiful uh talented individuals and uh, also speaking of talented is elizabeth moss new show shining girl so let me know in the chat guys which one of those shows um are you most excited to check out on apple tv plus which again like i said shout out to apple tv man they they, they be coming every single month with um great shows great you know original movies and just original content in general i'm, I'm a big fan if you can't tell of apple tv so let me check it in the chat get some water and then we'll move on to uh hbo max so let me let me see what you guys are talking about here give me a second and get some water All right. Uh, the Boys Andrew is uh, June 9th, I want to say. So uh, a couple more months and we'll, we'll be here talking about that. Um, I love Apple TV. I'm sad. So, yeah, me too. I, I, I can't speak highly enough uh, about that. Yeah, she's such a great actress. Definitely want to see that. Yep, definitely be going. Yep, I agree. They don't have the quantity, but they got the quality. I'll tell you that. They're like a, they're like a notch blow who... Uh, hbo to me as far as like quality tv so i love apple tv so speaking of hbo we got a new hbo show to talk about here um coming to us on the 7th of this month which is tokyo vice ladies and gentlemen let me know if you have heard of it if you're excited for we got uh elsa um Ken and uh, Igor here starting in the show. It is a show that pretty much covers um, kind of uh, espionage, police uh, um, uh, corruption out in Tokyo, police squads and the descendants into the neon underbelly of Tokyo. So, yeah, I mean, Ken has always been a great actor. I'm not the biggest um Igor fan i think he's okay as an actor but this show looks pretty great guys let me know if you are excited for uh tokyo vice coming to um hbo on the 7th of april let me know in the comments moving on from that show to this show here which i i started i just couldn't finish it not because it wasn't good i just had so much to watch when it was on um but i'm talking about the flight attendant season two again from i think i want to say i'm like four to five episodes in i enjoyed it for what it was very cool mystery um you know our character here has some some issues she's dealing with but at the same time she's trying to find out if she was responsible for the death of an attendant by her own hand so let me know if you all have seen flight attendant and if you have if you're excited for this new season but speaking of excitement it's been a minute it's been a minute it's been a minute and he is back talking about barry season three it has been so long another show that almost like atlanta it was like had a hiatus it's been off for so long bill Hader, steven root um anthony cardigan uh henry winkler i mean this this cast is great this show is phenomenal i'm gonna have to revisit uh barry because it's been a while since i saw season two 
I remember how it ended, but I just don't remember how we got to that point. So I'm going to re revisit that and I'm hopefully uh, do a, like a weekly breakdown for the new season of Barry because I really enjoy Barry. I'm a big fan of Barry, a Bill Hader, uh, very similar to my thoughts on um, Jason Bateman, an, an actor who I've mostly known as like a drama or a comedy guy. Um, but man, he changed my mind with this show uh, as well as like when he was included in um it chapter two he's done some other products that i really enjoyed him in but more than that you know comedy vehicle but this one this has comedy barry definitely has some some comedy to it but it's also like very serious and very dark uh and i love it and i'm really excited to see what uh you know what our characters are up to especially after how season two ends so let me know if we got any barry fans in the chat and if we are uh excited for this new season but um a monday show you know when when hbo comes with a, on a monday they got a banger on their hands it's been a while but we're talking about the new drama we own this city um, which is something I'm looking forward to. This is based on a book. Um, and as you all can see on the screen now, it comes from the same creators that gave us, uh, you know, David Simon, who gave us The Wire, which if you don't know about The Wire, you're missing out on something great. But uh, We Own the City is essentially, again, it's based on a, on a book by the name of True Story of Crime, Cops and Corruption. Uh, the Baltimore Sun reporter, uh, Justin Finn, who also wrote this book, dives into the gritty chronicles of the rise and fall of the Baltimore Police Department gun uh, uh, task force. It exposes the corruption and just kind of shows you, you know, how they took advantage of, um, you know, drugs and stealing money and just, you know, wrongful convictions and stuff like that. So, again uh, not to go over this but i mean come on john berthal mumu mushaku from the writer and the creator of the wire i'm here for it <laughs> i am all here for it so let me know in the chat guys out of all the stuff coming new stuff and stuff returning from uh, tokyo vice to um flight attendant to Barry season three to we own the city let me know what one of these shows from hbo are you most excited to dive into uh, and before we wrap it up with hulu let me catch up with the chat here uh hbo yeah hbo like yeah they always come with it always uh love flight into the i gotta finish that like i'm like five six episodes in i normally never like i i've always if i'm like that invested in the show i always like to finish it i don't know what's going on with that show i'm gonna have to find out um or figure out some time to catch up with it and catch up with the second season flanton was a trip liked it awesome awesome yeah i'm gonna have to finish it very twisty yeah from what i saw it was crazy <clears throat> yeah we got some very fans out there i've never watched very oh watch it it is so good it's so good so good so underrated too the very oh one of the greatest shows of all time and bar none we, we talked about what breaking bad earlier this is to me mount rushmore the wire breaking bad i know this is controversial game of thrones game of thrones is still like and, and if i would have put another one uh we put a four, the office. I'm gonna put the office. That's my favorite sitcom. But yeah, those are Mount uh, Rush, Mount Moore, uh, Rush, Mount uh, Mount Rushmore of shows. Uh, definitely The Wire, Breaking Bad, uh, The Game of Thrones, and The Office. Those are like my go-to shows. Uh, I know people don't love you know how things end, and I didn't love how things end in The Game of Thrones. But I mean, I'm not gonna forget the greatness that, that they gave us too. And I'm really excited for uh, um, House of Dragons coming out. Uh, was it April, uh, August 21st? So yeah, we don't should be yeah, it should be good. It will be good. <laughs> Uh, game of, yes like i said i I'm, i don't forget the greatness that that uh, that uh you know that show gave us for you know six seasons uh but let's wrap this discussion up again guys i appreciate you all tuning in uh on this friday evening talking about all the new movies shows and whatnot coming to the new month so uh as my dog barks there sorry about that um but yes i appreciate you all watching if you haven't already make sure you're liking the video sharing it commenting uh it would really be greatly appreciated so let's move on to a uh, wrapping this up talking about hulu and it was really only one thing that caught my eye with hulu and that is um this show here under the banner of heaven uh this show here is i'm excited i mean number one andrew garfield fantastic actor um we have hulu which is another kind of underrated i would say streaming service they they have some really great stuff that they give us uh and then for my taste 
I'm all about mysteries. I'm all about thrillers, you know, finding out who the killer is, why the killer is doing what they're doing. And again, Andrew Garfield is a is a extremely talented individual. I don't have to speak about his resume. You already know what this man is capable of. Uh, but this young lady here, Daisy Edgar Jones, who if you haven't seen Fresh, which happens to be on Hulu, that was my first time being exposed to her. What a what an incredible actress! And it looks like, based on the trailer, she's she might be involved in in in, in this murder. If you haven't seen the trailer, there's a, a mom that dies, and I say a mom that dies. She's a mother of like a 15 month year old baby, and the baby's killed. And Andrew Garfield's the police officer trying to find out this grisly, terrifying, you know, horrible mystery. And just to give you guys a, a brief synopsis, we have Andrew Garfield who plays a detective um, and who works in this small suburb in Salt Lake, and he uncovers and, and um, the un uncovers the buried truths about the origins of this LDS religion in this violent circumstance of this like grisly crime. So, yeah, sign me up, Hulu. I'm here for it. Uh, under the banner of heaven, inspired by this uh, bookseller, this uh, crime, true crime bookseller, number one bookseller. So, yep, you know me. I'm here. <laughs> I will be covering that show uh, on, uh, I believe it's going to be seven to eight episodes every um, Thursday, starting April 28th. Andrew Garfield, Daisy Edgar Jones. Also, Sam Worthington is in this show, which, uh, and Wyatt Russell as well. Sam Worthington. I wasn't a fan of him when he first hit the scene because I thought Hollywood just like really forced him on us, whether it was the Terminator franchise, obviously Avatar. He was in some other, um, what was that? This, uh, it was about like Egyptian gods. What was the name of that? Wrath of Gods or something like that. They made like two of them. Anyway, I wasn't a fan. I didn't think he was that great of an actor, but. He took some time off and then he came and made some smaller independent films. He really picked out his roles to really highlight his, his sensibilities as an actor. So Sam Warrington, I, I've liked where his career, I didn't like where it started, <clears throat> but I like where, his, where, it has, where it has gone. I think he's a really good actor, uh, as well as, like I said, you got Andrew Garfield and Daisy, who's a great up and coming actress, Wyatt Russell. Yeah, I, I'm really excited for this one. So again, guys, just to kind of recap uh, what we've talked about, New movies coming out this month, streaming movies, streaming shows. Let me know in the comments, what are you most excited for out of all the stuff that we covered or maybe stuff I missed? Let me know what has you most excited for this new month of April before we wrap up this fun discussion. Let me pull up the comments here and see what you all are discussing and what you're all excited for. And then we'll, we'll wrap up in like five minutes if you have any other questions um, <clears throat> as far as... Uh, shows and movies or anything in general let's just have a discussion for a little bit before we wrap it all up but let me catch up to the comments here yep classic classic you forgot dark lol dark oh my gosh first off how you doing yes that is one of my favorite shows of all time so if i could put in a fifth one dark yes thank you so much i, I totally yes dark if you all don't watch dark <sighs> Science fiction at its finest, storytelling at its finest, acting at its finest, uh, the score, the cinematography, that last episode. Oh my goodness. Dark. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me of one of the greatest shows, the greatest time travel show, time travel story I've ever seen. Dark. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh let's see here. Dexter was on my top <clears throat> until New Blood. Dexter was good. I um I stopped watching. Uh, what was the season? It was when um, John Lithall, when he, I don't want to say what he did, but when he did what he did, that's the last season I saw. Uh, and I heard it got, it didn't get that much better. And I heard the new one. Yeah, I heard the new one a little bit of a little mixed results. Never watched Dark, but I know it's one of your, yeah. You, you reminded me, I appreciate you. So by you reminding me, let me remind you, you should watch Dark. And everyone is watching this live. If you, you just please do it. It's three seasons, eight episodes per eight to nine episodes per season. If you love time travel, it's the most well thought out time travel anything I've ever seen. The drama is incredible. The mystery keeps you on the edge of your seat. The reveals. The, again, I, I can't speak highly enough of Dark. I've reviewed all the seasons on the show too. If you if you all want to get my thoughts on it, uh, but it's it's just fantastic. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, uh, what's that? What's that about? Kind of, um, he's a Pomeranian Pekingese. 
um hit or miss i'm sorry my screen is like flickering up i need a new battery for this computer so i'm having a hard time reading some of these comments here Ooh, hit okay hulu hit or miss. yeah hulu, well i like hulu more hits than misses for me um so but i'm gonna try to get to all these comments because again this my screen is like flickering out as uh but so i apologize if i missed one of your comments uh but let me see uh true De true detective was great great show maybe this is supposed to be the next time in the series um man if they give me some true detective in this if you're talking about the andrew garfield show then yeah i'm here for it. i love the show hey nisi how you doing today looking forward to under the banner yeah me too uh and and thank you for tuning in and thank you for the compliment hope you're doing well hope you're having a great day and a great weekend to come uh i know daisy and normal people who okay i didn't know she was from that show which is the most acclaimed role to date but i'm not sure i'm watching this one yeah she um she was in fresh and that's the first time i saw her i thought she was incredible was the show was the show weeds on hbo yeah i think so i think so i never watched weeds but i heard it was a good show <clears throat> showtime okay thank you thank you okay it was showtime um nisi with the super chat happy spring break happy spring break to you thank you so much nisi again i appreciate you uh always stopping through showing some love whether it's you know commenting or donating to the channel or just blessing us with your grace i thank you so much uh always appreciate you hope you have a good spring break and a good spring in general what is dark what is dark so it's kind of hard to describe the show i'm selling it so well right no it's uh it's a show about an individual um jonah he's a teenager who unfortunately loses his dad um and in discovering why and his dad seemed to be you know in good good spirits good mindset <clears throat> has a loving uh, son loving wife life's going good but the circumstances of his death is, is pretty um it shakes up the town it shakes up you know jonah more in particularly so jonah um you know the town is shooken up everyone's kind of confused about him taking this life and on this particular night there's something that happens and there's like there's there's this um there's this uh forced and and let's just say one of the kids it's kind of like stranger things in a certain extent where a kid goes missing um and yeah i'll just kind of leave it at that because it's a mystery and, it, and when you unravel the mystery that's where the, the the genius of the show comes out so it's i'll just say it's a a mystery about kids going missing while this this young man jonah is trying to discover why his, his father left this earth the way he did uh in doing so you get all these other characters martha and all these other characters trying to find you know her her brother that's gone missing and again, again these kids are missing in a town and when you find out why they're going missing you start to dive deeper to the science fiction of the show and it's i'll just say there's time travel involved so i don't know if i describe it that well <laughs> i don't want to give too much away but if you appreciate my reviews and you we share a similar taste in movies and shows and quality of shows and movies you will not be disappointed i will say uh, it is a it's, it's, it has subtitles it's in german that didn't bother me because i've always i've grown up you know, i'm a I've always I love stuff that are you know international movies and shows and I always appreciate learning new cultures and stuff but neither here nor there it is a, a, a subtitle show it has dubs but the dubs are always terrible the dub on that show was like really bad but if you can withstand the subtitles you're in for one of the greatest stories ever told in my opinion so I hope I sold you on it <laughs> I have to see dark well andrew like i said i hope i have sold it's on netflix i'm sorry you said where it's on netflix it's three seasons nine eight episodes per season and it's if you're not invested by the end of the first episode then it might not be for you because the first episode is really just the tip of the iceberg uh in regards to the mystery Den knows what's up yeah yes 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 uh you're selling it but i think dark too complex for my liking i also struggle with shows that especially need subtitles are I, I hear you i hear you. it is one of the most complex things i've ever seen uh you thought tenant was confusing or inception or memento i'm trying to think of all the most like <clears throat> complicated movies uh, a lot of christopher nolan movies are you know sometimes too overly complicated but yeah it's, it's the most complex show i've ever seen it's a very complex show because again it's, it's, it's time travel involved and there's a lot of a lot of stuff so it is it is complex for sure and it does take it's not one of those shows where you can go like, oh, okay yeah yeah let me check my email oh wow that happened no like you have to you have to pay attention because if you miss something uh you, you miss like th this show is very intentional it's very meticulous and everything matters in that show so it is very complex it's, but it's it's worth every second of it uh but it, it you know 
to each their own but i'd highly recommend it neither here nor there but look i think uh if you if there's any other questions uh let me know because i'm gonna wrap it up here and, and get something to eat and uh you know uh got some plans a little bit later but uh again we're gonna wrap it up in a second but for everyone that tuned in live i appreciate you nisi showing some love with the super chat you all throwing in some great recommendations to me hope you enjoyed the discussion that we had tonight as far as all the new releases uh what i'm excited for again really looking forward to towards the northmen um really excited for the final season of uh ozark uh russian doll making a return we got some new stuff on on uh you know we own the city the return of barry uh the new andrew garfield under the banner i'm I some really good stuff i'm looking forward to and that's just the stuff i'm aware of what i always love is discovering new shows new movies i never heard of and falling in love with it so there might be something in april that i didn't even mention that i might you know absolutely adore so that i always love that uh and that happened with me with severance this month that happened to me with everything everywhere uh all at once which i'm really excited to share my thoughts with you all on that film soon but there you have it that is our roundup our, our tv and movie what's coming out uh breakdown for the month of april again i appreciate you all for tuning in commenting supporting the channel with super chats and showing some love i appreciate you all hope you enjoy your friday hope you have a great weekend as far as like content to look out for um right now i did drop today um you won't be alone which is a new horror film which is on the channel now yesterday i dropped severance episode eight uh atlanta season three episode three um and then this weekend <clears throat> i'm gonna be seeing sonic but i don't think i'm gonna release the review to close to the release date but i'm gonna be seeing sonic tomorrow uh winning time my basketball fans i'll have that review out on sunday uh and then hopefully everything everywhere all at once i'll have probably by sunday or monday so hit the bell so you can get all the alerts for when those videos drop so i think we got one more comment and then we're gonna wrap it up if you like time travel pick up the love songs of web okay cool i do love time travel so i appreciate the recommendation all right guys again i hope you had a good time i certainly did have a great day and we'll catch you all on the next one take care everybody